Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing NAD's MDC-2. Well, that's the Blue Offs, the, the two uh, replacing all of the previous cards. This particular MDC-2 is designed for the new implementation and iterations of their classic series and will in turn be their master series uh, amplifiers. The module is very, very straightforward as far as its opening and unboxing, so I wanted to actually pause and talk about some of the new feature set. It's added Google Assist, Alexa and Siri voice control. On board for streaming of Blue Os, of course that's Tidal, Deezer, Tidal Direct, all of those things, Spotify, every known streaming format, every known internet radio station, every podcast, all on board. It's AirPlay and AirPlay 2. But the big new features of this are Bluetooth, HD, in and out. Uh, but most importantly for those that are going to venture into that next level, it features the Dirac Live mic-based room and speaker correction. All from a very modestly priced upgrade card. Right, so let's have a look. The card itself other than some scannable information and model and serial number on one end, uh, and of course the other, um, it's very kind of muted. It's not very big. But what it delivers to the amplifiers it's compatible with is an astonishing upgrade. Opening it, we see the introduction and quick start guide associated with Dirac Live, and a basic installation guide as well. It's full colour and it's very, very easy to follow. We've got a little bit of uh, foam to protect the unit in transit and then the card itself. It's quite large, as it should be. Drilling down under the card we have uh, the USB to 3.5mm adapter associated with the um, Dirac microphone. We see a couple of spare screws in a little Ziploc bag and not one but two um, Wi-Fi aerials. Now those aerials are protected inside a bag and opening those is very straightforward because it's heavily, heavily taped closed. It's off to one side that we see obviously a mic and that's in a, uh, protected in a separate little slip of cardboard and there we have Dirac's microphone. It's a 3.5mm mono and again fits directly into the USB adapter. The card itself is protected in one of those um, static bags. The idea being that um, it's going to be well protected in the freight and transit. You should be mindful of that when unboxing it and please, you know, it's the type of thing that any dealer would probably do free of charge. An end user, it's relatively straightforward though. Carefully taking it out of the bag, I see immediately how much uh, larger and um, more well implemented the board is compared with the previous Blue Os board. As alluded to by the fact that there are now one, sorry, not one, but two, we have a couple of dual aerials, and these are covered with uh, little plastic covers. The board itself is also protected at one end by um, a corrosion-resistant tape. That needs to be removed, obviously, before fitting it. So we'll do that now. And it leaves a beautiful little slot ready uh, to plug into the, um, the slot in the amplifier. Now, with the new C399, it has the new module. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that, and we're going to very quickly show you the the basic process as far as uh, getting this module in. It's really, really straightforward. The first is to just simply remove and probably discard the cover at the rear. A uh, Phillips screwdriver is all that is required as far as removing those two screws. And this is the thing. In AD have thought about not just a technician but an end user potentially making these upgrades. Uh, buy these kinds of things and have them shipped to your door and it's very unlikely that somebody's going to take the care to um, uh, install it for you. So they've done a couple of things. And this is actually the beauty of it. 
The slots are very, very easy. It's an open cavity as far as getting that in. But there's brilliant, uh, very silky smooth plastic slides. It's almost like the type of thing you'd see in something that's designed to be moving, you know, eight hours a day. Yet it's that type of smooth plastic that they've utilised for a slot that may only go in once. And it's that attention to detail that I'm sort of admiring as far as this, because this amplifier is relatively low cost, and these boards relatively low cost as well. Yet NAD have thought about how an end user might install them. Sliding it in is relatively straightforward. The first thing to do, and it's very easy, is just simply line it up with the preformed slots. Then carefully slide it along. There should be no resistance. If there is, you've got it in the wrong direction or it's on the wrong angle. And then there will be a firm stopping point as it reaches the socket that it's going to then bind into. And then using two fingers on each side, firmly push and you will hear a good solid click as we just have. The next thing to do is to return the screws. Now there's some spare ones in the bag obviously but I'm going to utilize the screws that were originally in the amplifier. Now once those screws are in you're pretty much ready to go. It's important though that of course with any change you're going to implement a software update and that's an important thing to remember. Install the card, make sure it's firm but not too firm as far as the screws. Attach the two aerials and you're away laughing. The upgrade process is very, very straightforward and it's handled within the uh, NAD Blue OS app. It's extremely easy and the process is so well thought out. The engineers and software developers have clearly thought of it from an end user perspective and that's brilliant and again one of the best reasons why I'm so proud to have uh, stocked in AD and shared this. Spinning it around other than the fact you've now got three aerials, um, there's no illusion as far as things go. It's still that classic series yet we've made a substantial upgrade introducing Tidal, Deezer, Spotify any streaming in the world, all from one simple module. The setup process is very straightforward, and again, hang around for some photographs and I'll take a few of the process. So, there we have it. NAD's MDC2, latest generation upgrade board with BlueOS on board. Um, unboxed and set up here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.